Here are 10 applications that will level up how you use your phone. I'm talking apps that will in some way, shape or form, enhance your entire smartphone experience. You ready? Let's dive in. And to start things off, we have Adaptive Controls. And this is an app that will let you automate a few key system settings on an app by app basis. Just select the apps you wanna customize. And then for each app, you can set custom settings for your phone's system brightness, volume and rotation. And you can even set it up so that your phone's do not disturb mode will become activated automatically. Once you've set everything up, whenever you then launch any of your customized apps, those custom settings will become activated. And then once you close the apps, the settings will immediately revert back to what they were before. Very cool. Next up is Tap Tap, and this is a really cool application that basically mimics that back tap functionality that you'll find on newer Pixel phones and iPhones. In short, you can set things up within the app so that whenever you double tap the back of your phone, some sort of action or shortcut will be triggered. You can also adjust the sensitivity of the function, but the amount of actions to choose from is kind of staggering, and it honestly works pretty dang reliably. All right, into the world that is customization for a minute, and Battery Indicators is an app that lets you customize how your phone shows you your battery status. You get a range of options within the app settings, including a battery bar, which simply shows a bar at the top of your screen to indicate your phone's current battery status. You've got battery text, which activates a little battery percentage text box at the bottom or top of your screen. Then you've got a battery ring, which is great for those of us using phones with hole punch displays. And finally, we have the option to enable a cute little charging animation, which allows you to select from a range of looping animations, which will show at the bottom or top of your screen anytime your phone is plugged in. After that is Volume Scheduler Pro, which is an app that lets you automate your phone's system volume. You simply set up time-based schedules, and then within each schedule, you can then customize what ringtones to use, what the system volume will be set to, and whether the phone vibrates or not. Then the app will automatically switch your profiles based on the schedules you set up, which is really, really handy. But if you wanna take this even a stage further and customize your phone's vibration patterns, then Vibrons is totally worth checking out. All you do is add any apps you like to this assigned vibrations list. And from there, you can select from a range of vibration patterns that are really unique. That means if you're someone who has your phone in your pocket for long portions of the day and you wanna ignore all incoming notifications except from one particular app, for example, then just set up a custom vibration pattern for that app and there you go. You can even tap in your own custom patterns, which is really neat. All right, from there we have STFO, which is an incredibly powerful notification manager with a top shelf design. All you do is select which app you wanna control notifications for, set up a target phrase for detection, and then choose from a long list of actions for what STFO should do with any notifications that fit the bill. The list of actions is really impressive, including preventing an app from sending notifications again, or replacing a specific notification with a secret one to hide its contents, and you can even have STFO remind you nonstop of a notification until you've seen it. Almighty Volume Keys is an app that lets you remap your phone's volume keys to trigger a huge range of shortcuts. So for example, you can set a single tap up to turn on your Bluetooth, you could set up an up then down tap to trigger a sound recording to start, and you can even use the commands to launch task actions, which means the possibilities for actions are essentially unlimited. And then there's Side Squeeze, which as the name indicates, lets you launch shortcuts simply by squeezing the sides of your device. It's reminiscent of the squeeze for Google Assistant feature found on old Pixel phones, but for a third-party application version, it works surprisingly well. The list of actions is pretty extensive as well, so definitely worth a try. Okay, second to last is Gesture, which is a pretty nifty app that lets you launch apps via gestures. You just tap on this little floating button or swipe up on your phone's home button, depending on your setup, and you'll be greeted with a little white box. Then simply draw a gesture that you've previously set up and boom, the shortcut launches. Very impressive stuff. And so finally, we have Edge Card Launcher, which is an app that got a feature in one of my recent top Android apps videos. But this app is so cool that I just couldn't not feature it in today's video as well. 
With the app set up and activated, you'll see this little white line on the edge of your display and swiping down on that line will open up this card style interface, which plays host to a bunch of helpful shortcuts. You've got music controls, your volume panel, app shortcuts, contact shortcuts, plus a bunch of other helpful tools and shortcuts as well. But then on top of that, the app just works so reliably. And so there you have it, 10 applications that I reckon will absolutely level up your smartphone experience. If you enjoyed the video, then a sub would be greatly appreciated. But aside from that, thank you all very much for watching and I will catch you later.